answer to call. Come on. Please. Hey, hello? Um... This is Fo speaking. Yes, I'm their sister. Older sister, to be exact. What happened to them? What? Hospital? What are they doing there? What? Shit. Uh, what branch are you in? Okay, okay. Uh, do you need anything for me to bring or... Okay, 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 I'm on it. Where are they? Hi. Hi, um... I'm Fo and... My sibling just got caught in a car crash. And... Please, just help me. Okay. What room are they in? 302. Uh, how am I supposed to get there? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Why is this happening? <laughs> There's a doctor. Hi. Uh, are you the doctor for... Oh, you are? Can I... Can I ask what's going on? Are they okay? Are they doing fine? Is there anything that I could do about it? They just got off the ICU. Oh no. Oh dear. How, how bad was it? Fracture. Uh, what? Their head? Oh, no. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if... I would deem it as a good news that they're gonna wake up soon. <laughs> they they hit their head. I I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. Can I see them, please? Okay. Where can I find you in case something else happens? There's a phone. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hey. Hey, little buddy. Look at you. I can't even question myself why this is happening to me because I know it's my fault. It's my fault for not having the patience of understanding you. Just, I could have talked it out properly with you, but I've, I want to admit that I've had enough. I felt so tired and I felt, I felt like I'm a failure as your sister. And everything that I do, I wouldn't be there to save the people that I love. I lost my friends. We both lost our parents. None of their brothers and sisters would take us in and at least comfort us for what we're going through. And at a young age, I was... I just forced myself to work because I only wanted you to have a good life, but I made it worse. I made it worse. I made things worse. I always make things worse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If 
if I only listened to you. If I only had given you a chance. To make up for all the things. The wrong things that you did. Unintentionally, I know they are unintentional. And I was supposed to understand you. But I didn't. I didn't do it at all. I was so selfish. I know saying sorry wouldn't even recover your concussion in a snap. And you would probably just throw me away. Just like how I did to you. Is I deserve it? I'm a bad sister. No matter what I do, I'm still a bad sister. I blame everything. I burden everything all to you. Just because I can't take the burden myself anymore. Instead of asking you, you know, talk to you, how heavy it is getting. But I didn't. I chose to burden myself over and over and over again. I kept secrets from you. And I always deem that you shouldn't worry about things. You shouldn't worry about the family affairs that are going on. To the point that I can't even deal with him anymore. Financial stuff. I really don't want to see you having no means or capability of buying the things that you really love and that you really wanted. I don't want you to experience the same thing that I've experienced. But I made it worse for you. I should have been the one in the car crash. I should have been the one who got hit by that stupid fucking car. Who just run away like it was nothing. And I can't find that stupid bastard to hit you heartlessly and just ran away with it without any trace. <laughs> just can't. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to hide secrets from me. <laughs> you promised me that we'll get through this together. I should have listened to you. You've been a good sibling. I know the amount of mistakes that you did, the amount of crimes that you committed, and I didn't know that you've been stealing stuff. Just sell them again, or stealing stuff from gift shops, then give them to me right after. You've always had good intentions, just executed them the wrong way. And I should have been there to guide you and tell you what's wrong and what is right. Maybe... Maybe I deserve feeling the guilt over and over again for what I did to you. And probably you wouldn't even hear it. The doctor said that you might have the possibility to be paralyzed <laughs> I don't want that to happen I wish that I was the one suffering right now and not you 
always have pure intentions. You always expressed how much you love me as your sister. And I don't even deserve it. I don't even deserve those things. I don't even deserve the love that you're giving to me. <laughs> I couldn't even shake you to wake up right now. Because I really wanted you to take rest from my mouth. I need your eyes to take a rest from seeing me. You don't deserve these things. I should have been the one lying there helpless. But sadly, I couldn't do anything about it anymore. What's done is done. I know the fear of you telling me that you hate me face to face. And it just rings in my ear over and over and over again it drives me crazy you're all that i have <sighs> near i am not even a religious person whispering to god that you'd show signs of waking up you'd show signs that you're gonna be okay and when you wake up, I won't ever stop telling you how much I love you and how sorry I was. And I don't, I won't even mind you hating on me, insulting me from head to toe. I will repeatedly ask for your forgiveness, even if you. I already have the intention of forgiving me because that's who you are. So, rest easy for now, okay? Ate is here for you. And as soon as you wake up, as soon as you get out of this hospital, I really wanted to start over again. But of course, the decision's gonna fall on you unexpectedly. I know that I'm worth waiting. We're pushing you away. I just wanted to see you wake up. I love you. It may sound like it was a lie, but I just wanted to say that I love you. I'm not saying this because it's too late, but I just want to say that I love you over and over again. That the love that I'm expressing for you right now will never be replaced by anyone else in this world. I really wanted to make it up to you. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you that despite all those things that I've said to you, you still managed to send me gifts. I still remember that bracelet that you gave me. And I know that you you were the one who made it for me. It was the prettiest thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I even bragged my friends about it. Co-workers, rather. Is you're the only friend that I had. Hope you wake up soon. I'll be waiting for you. Okay? Hmm.